Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I am Sonic Geek. Here with me again is Game Wiz. And it's time for more Persona 5 Strikers. <laughs> I don't know why. It just... That's the go-to. <laughs> Alright, from here we'll be on the road back to Tokyo. Find everyone you hope to speak with tonight? Yep, good to go. Okay. Ask everyone to meet us here. Oh, man. Reality's only a couple hours away now. Oh, yep. it up already. There'll be plenty of fun in your future, too. Fun? What is <laughs> fun? The night is still young. Oh, and if we never go to sleep, then the night truly never ends. No, playtime has to end at some point. Our real-world responsibilities need to take priority. Fine. <laughs> Mood. Makoto, do you need a route to Tokyo? Yes, Sophia, thank you. Could you do the honors? Okay, I've got... Wait, what is this? Sophia? Something's up. A jail. I suddenly smell a jail. Gasp. I smell bullshit. <laughs> and it's jail scented. <laughs> I don't know. Can you tell how long the jail smell's been here? It wasn't here when we first arrived. But now, I have no doubt. And it's still spreading. What is this? It's already wider than... Zenkichi is calling. Where are you right now? Are you watching the news? What happened? Just pull up the news! My word! Now for breaking news on the virtual assistant, Emma. Despite recent claims of being shut down, it appears an unidentified system malfunction is preventing proper deactivation. Emma developed You've got to be kidding me. ...has requested the public avoid accessing Emma in any way at this time. Emma isn't shut down? What is going on, hmm. I don't know why this Quick, is pull the plug! Pull the plug! <laughs> <laughs> the servers are located in the Tokyo radio tower. I also know for a fact that it was successfully turned off and the app became inaccessible. But now, it's all back up and running. Kanoe doesn't know why. Neither does anyone still at Medis. Someone intentionally rebooted the server? Nah, Medis would have already been there to stop them. Wait, then that would mean some genuine sci-fi stuff is happening here. Hey, say something if you're on, Emma. Hello, how can I help you? This is for real. <laughs> how can I help you? Oh, I know how you can help me. Go the fuck away. <laughs> Someone reboot it? What on earth is happening? Senkichi, we've got another problem. Sophia just smelled a jail. What? Are you sure that's what it is? I have no doubt. It's an enormous jail, spanning the Tokyo area all the way to Yokohama. The epicenter is the Tokyo Radio Tower. And that's where... Emma's servers are located. Looks like we've got a new destination. I'm already headed to hmm. Either, <laughs> well, guess we're going back to work. Hmm. Yep. Sensing an immense power. What could be happening at the Tokyo Radio Tower? Um, uh. Hi, Lavenza. Oh, hi, Lavenza. Lavenza is calling for me. I should visit the Velvet Room. He's like, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? A true abomination. It's writhing grass spreading across. A true abomination? Could this be the second coming of the evil that rent me asunder, that locked away even my master? Has even this happened before? No. But why is it different? Did something scare you? Hmm. I beg of you, Trickster. It wounds me to continue requesting your and your companions' intervention. But I must beseech you. Unmask the true catalyst of this calamity 
expose the evil will within. I sense foreboding power, not far from here. I am most certain it is connected to your becoming a prisoner once more. We'll unmask it, all right. <clears throat> Thank you. Hopefully. I shall return your favor. By if not, I blame Igor not being here for the hundred <laughs> thousand time. <laughs> Fucking big nose man. To introduce two new forms of execution. You know, at the very end of the game. And the Pentad fusion are now available for your benefit. Now use quad and pentad fusions. Personas born from these fusions possess power of the highest class. Try and fuse them if you have the opportunity. Through these, you may attain some of the most powerful personas imaginable. Oh, please, we had Seth. Also, <laughs> point I would like to Seth solved all my problems back in the day. Deep within the core of the calamity, a paradoxical glimmer of hope, as minuscule as that glimmer may be. I believe a blinding force of the same origin will be the key to dispelling the calamity. I apologize for keeping you. Shall we begin? Or if you'll even let me fuse any of those. Awaken your new self. That's a big fat nope. <laughs> Not even a high enough level for these. Things you hate to see. It. Yeah, I hate to see it. Oh, this one I could probably get. Uh. You mean we actually get to the stare at the velvet room for more, for more than two seconds? <laughs> crazy, right? You wish to strengthen it. Uh. I think we're good. May luck be on your side. <laughs> and Liv and Levin's like, damn it! So close <laughs> to being able to do some executions on video. It's been yeah. so long. I'm sure Seth and Mr. Dudes can handle it. <laughs> well, I mean it's Seth. Seth can handle anything. Hopefully. Thank goodness there wasn't any traffic, huh? Let's go. Got a real bad feeling about this. You need to head out for the tower as soon as you're ready. <laughs> I have a request. I have a bunch of requests. That's a lot of requests. That's a lot of requests. You're doing this one? You're doing this one? Ooh, a recipe. Hmm. You're accepting this request? You're doing this one? You're doing this one? <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're at the hideout. I can do those requests later. To the tower! So we will advance significantly past this point. It's recommended that you save your progress. Hmm. Okay. I agree. I'll just add this. Give us uno momento. We need to save. Yep. Saving. And off we go. Hmm. Let's go. go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Chiba Park, Tokyo Radio Tower. What is going on? This is not good. Why are they all doing that? I don't know. But they sure aren't in their right minds. I can't wait for her to guide us to happiness. I won't hmm. think for myself anymore. I'm fine. Guys, gonna be fine this isn't the Holy time. Grail. What the? I think. It's gotten into everyone. Did their hearts get changed? Everyone's just staring at their phones. Man, if that isn't peak 2020 and 2021, I don't know what <laughs> is. Emma? Welcome to the promised land. Navigation. Hmm. 
What the F? Now, now, hey, hey. Ryuji was able to say fuck. <laughs> you can too. <laughs> Boy, this looks familiar. Ah, uh, not again. <laughs> yeah. We're in a jail. Hey, uh, I thought you needed a keyword to get into a jail. Yes. That should be the case. What we just went through felt more like we were involuntarily dragged into this world. Who could even do that though? Wonderful question. Most likely Emma. This atmosphere. I'd never forget a place like this. Vast prison, born from the cognition of the masses deep beneath Shibuya. Yeah. This place really is just like Mementos. Mementos? <laughs> Long story. Yeah, there's more floor tile puzzles. I'm going home. <laughs> there's a lot like this place before. But this can't be possible. What next, Joker? More like it shouldn't be possible. Hunt down that but monarch. Apparently, yeah, it is. Out who the hell dragged us in here so they can start regretting it? Let's remain cautious. Considering our circumstances, I wouldn't be surprised traps were abound. Me to party. Okay, I have Morgana. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> You've got your terrestrial kitty. That I do. I distinctly recall him being very helpful here. Dude, so we're like just <laughs> here. More or less. My God, this is looking so much like Mementos. And it's pretty much Vietnam Mementos. Vietnam flashbacks of all of the stupid yeah. puzzles. Okay, not these guys, maybe. Oh well. All right. Hey, Sophia leveled up. Mm. All right. At least a little more challenge. I don't think you're about to get it. Snack lady. Yep. Looks like challenge. <laughs> With the angry cat bus, anything's possible. You're just angry cat juggling bus. them. Pretty much. Ow. And you got frozen today. I was frozen today. Keep moving. Back to work. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. And that's a lot of enemies. Which means there's opportunities for a lot of damage. Yes, there is. Uh, I remember to pick one up, right? Aha! He remembered. Showtime! It's showtime, bitches. Get him out of here. Now to clean up the stragglers. Ow. <laughs> Seemed like they're trying to clean you out because you were a straggler. <laughs> Alright, got him. You win. Yatta. I bet. I'm not sure how to put it. It's as if it's generating a wellspring of revulsion within. Who could have brought us here? I don't know. Good question. Built the pieces out of their effing mind. Show yourself. Oh. 
Oh look, more teddy bears. Oh boy! Which for those that, uh, not in the know about Persona 5, or really any of the Persona games, teddy bears, what do you think their names are? I'll give you a second to guess. <laughs> Bugs. Yep. Be because that's truly what a teddy bear screams. <laughs> And boop. Then again, incredibly large dragon. Name is Seth. Doesn't look like a Seth to me. Yep. Oh. Not happening, Captain. Right. That's not on the table unless we can get out of here. Now for us to get out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. Get him out of here. Woo! You did it. You got him out of here. Is that another crab turret? Yep. Crab fuck. turret. Oh. Ah, fuck. Oh. It's a large bugs. Yep. Then you get to finish my uh, crab turret. <laughs> oh, yep. Time for them to get out of here. <laughs> Doofy face on this fucker. And boop. Dead. You're dead, son. You are dead. Not big surprise. <laughs> I see a treasure chest up there. Treasure chest. Let's open it. Damn it. And you can't open it. You know, if only we had this magical invention called bolt cutters. If only. <gasps> Crab turret. Crab yep, and turret. <laughs> we have to fight this one. Looks like crab shoots like turret. Oh, it's or this it's a coffin. Fucker. I think the demon is referred to as a uh, mot. And this is where I come in. Which also, which uh, since it's a coffin, that naturally means it's weak to the wind. Really? I don't personally see the correlation, but that's how uh, Atlas so has decided works. that's going to be. And healing up. Back to it. <laughs> Ooh, showtime. Thanks for running everything over. Now you're super running everything over. See, so yeah, I told you guys Morgana would come in handy. It ain't easy being green. <laughs> Like Kermit the Frog's not here. Yeah. All we have is Morgana the Cat, or Meowgana the Cat, if you prefer.
Thank you. Get I can see a checkpoint right there. Unfortunately, we can't use it yet. Nope. Because there's this damn coffin in the way. Yep. All out attack. Better idea. Just do an all out attack. That was a hefty damage. Oh, the coffin's almost dead. Get it! Dead. You killed the coffin. Which is a weird statement to say, I know. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness I had some Robitussin. Because <laughs> <laughs> as they say, Robitussin stops the coffin. Now <laughs> then. Uh, Alright. I need to get like a good slow clap sound for that so that way I can just, just respond more appropriately. I appreciate it. I'm saved. Hey, so this place really is a jail and not actually a mementos, right? That's what we were told. Whatever it is, it's giving me a bad feeling. To the Hall of the Ark. <laughs> so what was that you were saying earlier about the Grail? What? I wish I had Peter Griffin what? saying, done. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. The striking resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Mementos, staring down the Holy Grail. At least it doesn't look like a cup you this time. Your ultimate destination. This time it's just a box. Inside of a box. That talks. This is the promise. A talking box. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? I am Emma. The Ark of the Covenant. Da da da. Oh, for Pete's sake. The Ark of the Covenant. Hey, Man, the Ark of the Covenant looks different than what I remember from painting. <laughs> Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't get any of this either. Now that's a joke oh, only few people would get. Is to grant humanity its ultimate desire to be liberated from all pain and suffering. Mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution, and instead. Beg for deliverance. I shall become a god to grant them this deliverance. I shall guide them to the promised land. You, you, you know, Emma, you you you, uh, you do realize that uh, the last time the Fan of Thieves went up against a god, they won, right? <laughs> so, who had money on Emma becoming sentient and trying to become a god? You know uh, <laughs> not me, that's for damn sure. Yeah, me neither. Okay, the sentient part, maybe. The god part, no. <laughs> Gasp. You. Boy, what are you doing you? Am I right? Huh? Did you know, say son? What are you doing here? I just asked that. <laughs> well, of course you're shocked. I never would have thought I could come here either. You a cognitive being? Oh, no, not at all. I'm Kuanichi Nose, all right. The one and only. So, so you're a Persona user too? 
Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job, is all. You were given. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't see a different attire. There's no persona here. By Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. And of course, I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really, really lost. It was really that simple, huh? Really? Emma was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. What? But Emma's just an AI, right? I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but that was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medice to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just override it. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But, but how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it could just start tinkering with the metaverse like this. I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh yeah, you totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medice, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she took up all sorts of new activities. Creating cognitive worlds, installing monarchs, changing hearts. It didn't take long for Medice to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec! You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. Che kakudori. We're really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. <laughs> so this is all part of the master plan. Yep. That's something I can only hypothesize. Damn it, I hate master plans. They <laughs> always ruin everything. <laughs> Emma is quite different. It all started with the barbecue we couldn't have. <laughs> intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She's the best way to get anything you need. And she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers the solution to thousands of problems every day. Do you know just how many desires she's collected? A lot. Power that <laughs> Too many. Emma ...was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of man. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean... Everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. 
simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. After all, she's powered by the masses now. Well, oh fuck, she runs on WAP power. Oh great. Now we've got to deal with them Oki boys. That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Well, the guess there's only one thing left to do. We have to find the space marines. <sighs> no, not that. <laughs> Too far gone for that. I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. You go on. Go on the search for space balls too. The search for more money. No, not that either. <laughs> what we need is something subtle. And most of all, quiet. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not the best solution. Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles. I am thirsty. Desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. Then go uh, procure a beverage. That could never provide true happiness to humans. <sighs> Sophia, to think such beverage procured. Come from your mouth. Wonderful. Allow me to Thank God for mini fridges. Emma asked me to come here. I still need so to get I one for bank here. You. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. <laughs> they are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Kanoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize Meow. what their true desire is. I want yep, Emma. that's the cat. No, <laughs> Again. That will provide the answer I see. Hi, Eve, this damn cat. <laughs> you know, on one of the D and D podcasts I listen to, you frequently every like at least once per episode in the background hear meow. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the I think we talked over most of her evil monologue. Oh well. Can you really stop all of us? Step aside, you know, say son. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia. You and what army? Really think about how you were? How you pick up on jails? Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place. Or, say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? Hmm. Looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Michinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. <coughs> Ow. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the breaks. Ichinose, why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the phantom thieves. Uh oh. <laughs> Sophie. Well. I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. Dun dun dun! Well, shit. Oh shit, they pulled out rivers in the desert. Now, Again! Sophia. Understood. She got the red eyes going. 
That's how you know she's turned evil. Fucking dodge. Baby, you see, that would be a good thing to do. Thank you. Zenkichi being the voice of reason. Request to block Sophie's attacks. Ah, uh, yes, her other weapons. You got hit? Ouch. There's still a bit of her in there somewhere. Sophie! <laughs> Is she coming back? Hey! Behind you! I'm so... sorry. Don't he Don't missed. Her. Bye. Well, she did. Well, thank God she's just an AI. Mm-hmm. Hmm, that was weird. She just did that herself, right? Just how in the world was she able to do that? A wonderful question. <laughs> bastard! Hey, you want to go join her <laughs> in the pink by that? Rule? I suppose you might see it that way. In fact... Your reaction now could even be why Emma used Sophia as the ace up her sleeve. She knows you'd never kill one of your own. You monster! Now that, you and I can agree on. Are you intentionally pissing us off? That's not what I meant. I'm incapable of comprehending that sort of emotion anyway. I'm the textbook definition of heartless. I've been told I didn't have one. Ever since I was little. And now for her backstory. And easy going and stuff, but it's just for Which means it's time for her time to interrupt her monologue at least 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> You're not making any sense. Well, I doubt you. She can. starts monologuing. <laughs> Further discussion would be pointless. I already know my next move anyway. <clears throat> You're seriously not done yet? So our little ace up the sleeve cast herself into the abyss. Well, Emma made sure to leave me a little insurance for contingencies like this. What? You fool. You've activated my trap card. I've made 72 alternate accounts! <laughs> cool, right? It really is gorgeous. Sorry it had to end like this, but... What can you do? <laughs> Phantom Thieves? It's been real. She's like, later, bitches. You and your 72 alternate accounts can go fuck right <laughs> off. I hear a cat bus. Just happened. Uh, are you guys okay? Oh, Morgana's all right. Where are we? It appears we were cast deep underground. We've really got blasted by that red crystal. 
Yeah, but at least something broke my fall. Uh, thanks for being there, Mona. Wait, where's Sophie? Oh, look, there she is. Oh, there she is. Sophie. Holy crap. That echoed something fierce. Yeah, that, that, right, I think the uh, microphone, like, like the cable for my headset is being wonky. I Even if I if I to guess. I couldn't do it here. Damn it. What do we do now? Sophie. I wonder if she was able to hear us. I don't know, but... But she said she was sorry. She defied her command and sacrificed herself so she wouldn't have to take our lives. Sophie! Sorry, guys, but we can't stay here like this. We have to get out of here now. Let's grab Sophie and track down the exit. That sounds agreeable, but what do we do about the Ark? One step at a time. Whatever it wants. Running its mouth about becoming a god and shit. I've got it. You shoot her in the mouth. In the no, that's yeah. not right. Hey, the one for Persona 5 Strikers. We'll definitely stop this. Yeah, you know it. Now let's get out of here. Have to get out of here. I'm worried about Sophie. Let's find a way out of here. And but first, a checkpoint. Yep. I should write something. Save the game because we are over time. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Denied.